Okay, um, this is um, the brief introduction of ovation training to the team um, or the nation. Um, yep, let's um, skim through um, what uh, we are going to cover on automation training. Actually, previously I already recorded it, but it didn't say perfectly at all, so I now I'm going to like do the same thing twice. Um, well, um, that happens sometimes, but I had to do it again. Okay, so let's go that. So ovation training, and at the beginning we are going to uh, cover the uh, architecture first, and uh, what they got so far uh, in Client 7 is uh, different from the uh, Ovation, the Automation Framework. So I'm going to briefly cover how uh, it uh, looks different from the uh, Client 7 and why we had to use the different framework and different protocol and not the same test console methodology in the uh, client 7 and we're going to introduce that and then um, yeah they don't have to know all about it but at least uh, I need to uh, introduce what uh, it looked like and why we use it as a automation ovation automation framework then after that um, they're going to uh, like um, start uh, working on the um, the setup for the dev kit with uh, our uh, REST server, uh, the platform side, uh, the build, uh, which is the automation, uh, the pastachi, and then REST server uh, open source, uh, the customized for our uh, platform uh, has been included, and, and, and those are going to be uh, provide. Uh, to uh, their dev kit and then they're going to install it, they build it and run it. And so um, uh, Nelson and Andrew is going to help me out to cover this, to let them have a one-on-one -on -one assistance um, so that um, we can uh, show them how to do it. So kind of maybe, I don't know, those three to four dev kits are available on the downstairs and then we're going to, one person can cover one, um, you know, dev kit and then they're going to do by themselves and then we have them out. So, okay, after the dev kit is ready and then we're going to cover the framework and how the framework look like and how we're going to uh, um, cover for the ovation automation. So why also uh, the branch and stream is to separate uh, from the, uh, the dev side on, in our framework and then their side. And then those are going to be introduced. Uh, I think we already cover for the client seven side, but Ovation QA hasn't uh, joined uh, that training uh, fully, so I think it's good uh, to review that again at the beginning. Also, the powerful stuff, um, um, QAs are not uh, that familiar with powerful at all. Um, that's how I felt while I am working on with um, the uh, multiple uh, you know, QAs for uh, the I mean, QA is to, you know, who wants to the, uh, do the automation. So I think um, that's part also the uh, one that we have to cover and then we can concentrate on how we can easily um, let uh, them understand better. Um, that's one of the homework for me. And then after framework uh, part is covered, then briefly review the task complete. In particular, uh, in test complete side, and the keyword test is going to be uh, they're going to keep implementing while they, uh, uh, you know, the do the automation. So rather than the script based fireworks framework, and then they're going to use the keyword test. So by doing so, uh, they can easily drag and drop and what they wanted to do with the uh, modularized uh, user behavior. So those are going to be 
introduce, I, I mean, the reviewed again, since we have covered cover already, but those are the, our like philosophy and, and approach and uh, since uh, Fireworks 2.0 framework. So I think we need to point out then and in this part um, again, um, so that they have a confidence that then anytime they want to have a need to automation and they can implement it. And then assertion. Assertion is one of the validation uh, operation uh, that they need to do whenever they want to uh, the, um, compare the value after whatever user actions have been done based on the test cases. So we already successfully implemented assertion module as an operation and test complete. And then we're going to uh, like practice how to you know add that the the operations into test complete and then, then try to use it how to, and much um, easier and why it is necessary and then how it, it is much more convenient rather than using the uh, you know script or other test complete I mean the smart pair provided the model so this is very proudly um, the VGT and Aristocrat made the uh, module that we can provide. Maybe we can you know, sell to other company. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, pro I'm very proud of it. And then the rest. Um, yeah. Not, I'm not going to go deep into the rest, but at least, at least I think um, the introduction of the HTTP protocol and its status code review. Um, for example, like whatever two um, exact is going to be, it's a good thing, a success and, and some errors like start with a different number and specifics are on the document right over here. So whenever they have uh, happen to meet some errors and then they can uh, at least uh, look up the document and then figure out and then report to us and whatever error happens in some specific part and then we, so that we can debug much more easily. Also the Pistachi framework. Um, I'm not going to look into the code um, but uh, introduce what it is and then how it works in our platform side innovation on debug server, I mean REST server. So going to introduce that, also REST protocol. Um, skim through these guys and then how, what it is and how historically why we had to use the rather than the web services and simplicity and I don't know, like, so documents and reference is going to be provided and then they can review it later on when they have time. And the Postman is one of the tool without the uh, test complete, we can test the RESTful API. So um, then introduce this guy in how to use it and how to install it and by hands on lab and the available RESTful API so that, uh, I mean, API is that we, uh, implementing so far um, is going to be introduced and they're going to test it. So that's the postman part. Now it's some um, everything uh, conceptual thing and then tool kind uh, of be like uh, introduced and then kind of atmosphere that we are going to kind of lay the bit tweaked way of automation compared to you know the you know client 7. Uh, they're going to understand that and then, okay, okay, this is a little bit different, but we still can use a keyword test easily. And those um, bases uh, is covered and we're going to dip into more practical training, like by hands on lab using keyword test, using test complete. So hands on lab is going to be like device name, SWAT and keyword test and in RESTful APIs. So device name, uh, isn't uh, necessarily uh, 
they're using the you know the RESTful API, so we can reuse the uh, client seven keyword test scenarios that we already covered. I'm gonna introduce that, and they're gonna uh, run it rather than implement it from from the scratch. And they can run it. And, okay, so we can still use it and refer to it, and we can um, you know reuse the module that we already provided. So that's enough for the device sim and as what also. AFT scenario that we have already covered can be reused for the training and I'm going to introduce that and they can, um, you know, I think I'm, I don't know, maybe if you have time then they can try to implement uh, the whatever is necessary based on the scenario and then I can introduce that and based on the uh, time, remaining time. But the keyword test, the uh, kind of must thing that we have to cover, like using the uh, RESTful API wrapped keyword test. Uh, how to use it is kind of the core, the, I mean, the parts of our training this time. So like lunch ovation game and a lot of, the, rather than using the Postman, uh, using the um, real, um, the keyword test that already added to our Fireworks framework, how to use it and validate it and, you know, the, see the report and then failure success. And then if you have a failure, how to debug it kind of thing. It's all covered on during this training and by this scenario. So after this scenario, then they're going to run the smoke test. We, it's kind of like more complicated one. DDT is covered, and a lot of the uh, the operations like while for and so on. But like um, I can show the demo video first, uh, which is uh, already recorded by Gagandeep, and then this is going to be really helpful for them to understand what smoke test look like, how we implement it, and maybe this is a kind of like really um, start. Uh, point of implementing whatever the new test cases uh, is uh, necessary to be automated based on test cases. So how we automate uh, the smoke test is uh, kind of price uh, stone uh, the, for uh, them to uh, refer to any time. So this is so critical. So I'm going to show this video to them and then they run it. and. Um, well, the analyzing the smoke test and you know the implementing it is I don't think it's ready yet for them and then I'm going to keep covering uh, how the smoke test uh, it's a mechanism and the logic inside and then how to do it is going to be covered and you know continue by the continuous support. Yeah, so this is some. Um, short training, uh, only uh, two days, eight hours, total eight hours. So um, I hope uh, this training is going to be good initiative for them to uh, start uh, the automation by using our frameworks. Okay, um, that's about it. Um, I'm going to enrich the, some of the uh, contents uh, remaining uh, time of the today and I um, get the feedback tomorrow as well and then and get uh, more information and I'm preparing for the next day training also. All right, uh, that's about it. Um, thank you.